guys and welcome to today's video. I've got my cup of tea because what I'm going to be doing today is going to be a chilled video where I'm talking to you about my second year at USW on the media production course because earlier in the year and um, for the for this year's first years which are now going into their second year my lecturer asked me to make a video about my time in first year um, to kind of introduce them to the course and be like it's not scary it's just uni isn't scary it's just it's just a next step and um, I thought why don't I just want to talk to you and, and, and tell you my experience of, of second year of uni so hopefully you enjoy it and one day you will be here at USW study media production or any other course that you want um, because it is really a cool uni totally haven't been um, bribed to say that shut up and sit down It's one like first year where it was kind of like settling into uni, getting to know everyone, getting to know Cardiff. Second year, it matters. Everything matters. What you do in second year matters, which is terrifying. So you kind of are pushed to do your best. And unlike last year where I was getting 50s and 60s, which is like two twos and two ones, this year I was getting pretty much all 70s and the occasional two ones. So I was getting 60s and 70s, so two ones and firsts, which is really cool. In second year, you're kind of sat there and you're like, if I, I like, these are pieces of work that can go on to my showreel and I, c I can show people them and be like this is this is this is me this is what Tom Dix can make and we made this one film earlier in the year um, where well, we, we made these we had this project where we had to make a film and this project that I'm on about was kind of like the entire year where the first term we make the film and then the second and third term we market the film so it was an entire year thing we're in the exact same group and I'm really proud of that that project I think it's one of the best things I've made like me, Erin, Leah, Mufi, Dan we all came together and were really well together I think and made something really cool and it's going to be shown at a film festival which I never thought I'd say, I never thought I would say something I directed would be shown at a, a film festival. I find that really weird. But I remember there was one, there was, there was a, we were recording a scene um, for this film and I obviously had written the script um, with Leah and we, we, I knew exactly what was going to happen because as a director I'd planned it, I'd planned it to the max where there was nothing left to plan really um, we just had to film it and Bryn and Sophia are, are doing their thing they're acting away really well and all of a sudden everyone starts looking at me and I'm like why is everyone looking at me and they're like you're meant to say cut basically I was so engrossed in their acting and, and the scene itself and the story that I completely forgot to say cut and it was just I just was like what's going to happen next even though I knew what was going to happen next in the back of my head I was like come on guys, act away, just improvise for a bit. As well as that, we did have various other projects such as the portrait piece, which isn't my favorite project I've ever made. I probably won't actually show it to people, but I got a two one on it. So it's just, even though you may not necessarily like what it is you're working on, just put your all into it because you are gonna get a decent grade at the end of it, which I was shocked at. I was shocked I got a two one, but I'm happy with it. But if I did it, you can do it. We also did this project earlier in the year in January, we put straight on this three week module where we had to create a music kind of a concert basically um, for our course and, and anyone that wanted to come really in this actual music venue with actual bands and it was it was stressful it was the most stressful three weeks of my life I I obviously look back and I know that I could have done things better but that's the whole process of learning like doing things and then realizing that you could do it better that particular project fuel I was a producer on and I was leading the marketing team and we eventually all came together and kind of worked on on everything like the, the production and, and logistics and everything but I was kind of overseeing the marketing and there were definitely things I could do better but the whole point of that project I think is it, it 
it made us all kind of, we had to work as a team, all 40 or 50 of us on that on second year, had to work together and come together and be like, right guys, we actually have to do this, we're going to do it well. And it just kind of brought the entire course, I think, closer together and we kind of knew people. Like there was, up until that point, there were still people that I didn't really know their names, but I kind of feel like more confident in knowing everyone now. It's definitely opened my eyes to producing. Um, and marketing as well. It's not just direction I want to do now. I'll happily do directing, marketing, producing. Um, but that's that's another thing about second year. It's definitely opened my eyes more into what I want to do. I just kind of want to have a dabble at everything um, because the media industry is so huge. It's so vast, and probably I'll get end up in something in ten years' time. But how the hell did I end up in this when I did this at the start? It's it, I just want to try everything, and that's one thing that sec second year has definitely opened my eyes a lot more to the fact that I don't have to settle on something. I'm presenting. I never thought. I would do presenting um, as, as as a job, but I will willingly, I always thought it would just be a YouTube thing like Epicu in this channel, but I, I, I will genuinely consider doing presenting as a job. It's just something so entertaining and so fun, but just the whole nerves of, of the live broadcasting and stuff like that, it just excites me so much. Um, but even then, I will happily look into presenting, but definitely second year has opened my eyes to the fact that I can do and be whatever I want. Comparing second year to first year, I would definitely have to say that first year is more of a party. Um, you'll literally, you'll happily go out pretty much every single night and, and then go to uni. It's, you, you don't really have the worry um, that your grades actually matter. However, when you get to second year, Nights out become much more like a luxury, and you're like, oh my god, I get to go on a night out. I guess I can go and enjoy myself a bit. Um, and but I think that's kind of nice that you don't go out on them constantly. I mean, it saves you money for a start, um, but you enjoy it more because it's not as regular, and you kind of get more drunk. I mean, I went out the other night, and I kind of I don't know how this happened, but I came home with a cone. I I don't know why, but I came home with a cone. Um, and I don't know what to do with it, if I'm honest. And um, but that that sums up uni, I think. You go out and you come home with a cone. I don't think I have much more else to say other than I hope you've had a really great year um, in first year. I hope you've had a really great year doing whatever you're doing, even if you're not at USW. Um, and I hope you enjoy your summer because we now have a well, I now have a four month summer ahead of me, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got a lot of projects to make, I think. Um, but no, thank you for watching. Please make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe if you already. And comment down below actually um, what you'd like me to do more of because I want to do more videos like this where I'm discussing like uni and like self-help videos I think. Um, and I've definitely got more vlogs coming in now that I've got five months off. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope this has been some kind of help to you. Um, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.